the darkness of winter, Advent is a time of patient waiting, in hope and expectation of the Christ child, the light of the world coming at Christmas. We also look forward to Christ's second coming at the end of time, when with his reign of peace we shall really understand the meaning of thy kingdom come. This year the waiting has been overlaid with a great sense of anxiety in a time of pandemic. Often confined to our homes during lockdowns and self-isolations, we found ourselves in a desperate state of waiting. We've waited for news of loved ones, for proof of an effective vaccine against COVID-19, and waited to know if our jobs are secure. Now we are waiting to visit and hug our friends and families again, and praying that we'll be reunited with them at Christmas. Words of comfort from the prophet Isaiah. Comfort my people, comfort them, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and call to her that her time of service is ended, that her sin is atoned for that she has received from the hand of the Lord double punishment for all her crimes. A voice cries, Prepare in the wilderness a way for the Lord. Make a straight highway for our God across the desert. Let every valley be filled in, every mountain and hill be laid low, let every cliff become a plain, and the ridges a valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all mankind shall see it for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up on a high mountain, joyful messenger to Zion. Shout with a loud voice, joyful messenger to Jerusalem. Shout without fear, say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. Here is the Lord God coming with power, his arm subduing all things to him. The price of his victory is with him. His trophies all go before him. He is like a shepherd, feeding his flock, gathering lambs in his arms, holding them against his breast, and leading to their rest the mother ewes. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, as your kingdom dawns, Turn us from the darkness of sin to the light of holiness, that we may be ready to meet you in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Make way, make way for Christ the King, His turn the rise. Fling wide the gates and broken into Many of us are aware of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe. 
a 41-year-old British Iranian aid worker who, when visiting her parents in Tehran in 2016, was sentenced to five years imprisonment in Iran's notorious Evin prison on a completely fraudulent charge of spying for an illegal organization. Nazanin strongly denies this and says that she is completely innocent. Her daughter Gabriella, then aged one year, was cared for by her grandparents in Tehran for the next four years. Nazanin's husband, Richard Ratcliffe, who lives in London, has campaigned ceaselessly for her release, appealing to heads of governments and mounting petitions. Last year, he completed a 15-day hunger strike outside the Iranian embassy while his wife was on a hunger strike in the Iranian prison. Last year, Richard's parents came to an amnesty event at St. Mark's to publicise Nazanin's plight. Nazanin suffered harsh conditions in prison, including solitary confinement. Gabriella came to England last year to be with her father and to start at a British school. Missing the contact with her daughter, Nazanin's mental health declined. This year, because of the spread of COVID-19 in the prison, she has been living with her parents, but under house arrest and facing yet more charges of undermining the Iranian state. She has avoided being sent back to jail after appearing in court this month to hear fresh evidence, but the hearing was adjourned before she could present her defence. No UK officials were present at the hearing, despite repeated requests from the UK Foreign Office. Her British MP, Tulip Siddiq, said, it is hard to imagine the mental torture that being repeatedly threatened with a return to prison causes. And this awful situation is now being dragged out once again. Amnesty International classes Nazanin as a prisoner of conscience and is calling for her unconditional release and immediate return to her home in London. Come, Emmanuel, God with us to be. Come down from paradise and occupy this dirty stable of humanity. Come and live rough as we do. Come and die. Come and be lonely as an orphan child. Come to where grief is harvested and stored. Come to where empty, aged minds run wild. Come to the hospice and the cancer ward. Come flee from tyrants as a refugee. Come be betrayed by those you counted friends. Come and be tortured with no amnesty. Come as the means to justify all ends. Come and be broken like a Christmas toy. Come be completely human, then we'll know. Your sorrow may bring hope of lasting joy. And God above is God with us below. Hills of the north rejoice, echoing songs abroad. Hail with united voice, Him who made earth and skies. He comes in righteousness and love, He brings salvation from Southern seas sing to the listening earth. 
Shout as you journey on, souls be in every mouth. Blue from the north they come, from east and west and south. In Jesus all shall find their rest, in him the longing earth be blessed. A prayer of St Augustine. Keep watch, O Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep tonight, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, O Christ, give rest to your weary ones, bless your dying ones, soothe your suffering ones, pity your afflicted ones, and shield your joyous ones. All for your love's sake. Amen. Christmas by George Herbert All after pleasures, as I read one day, my horse and I, both tired, body and mind, with full cry of affections quite astray, I took up in the next inn I could find. There, when I came, whom found I but my dear, my dearest Lord, expecting till the grief of pleasures brought me to him, ready there to be all passengers most sweet relief. O thou, whose glorious yet contracted light, wrapped in night's mantle, stole into a manger, since my dark soul and brutish is thy right, to man of all beasts be not thou a stranger. Furnish and deck my soul, that thou mayst have a better lodging than a rack or grave. The shepherds sing, and shall I silent be? My God, no hymn for thee? My soul's a shepherd too, a flock it feeds of thoughts and words and deeds. The pasture is thy word, the streams thy grace, enriching all the place. Shepherd and flock shall sing, and all my powers outsing the daylight hours. Then we will chide the sun for letting night take up his place and right. We sing one common Lord, wherefore he should himself the candle hold. I will go searching till I find a sun shall stay till we have done a willing shiner that shall shine as gladly as frost-nipped suns look sadly. Then we will sing and shine all our own day and one another pay. His beams shall cheer my breast and both so twine till even his beams sing and my music shine.
Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you, and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>